and a temporary cricket stadium for the upcoming World Cup will be built in Van Cortlandt Park. The construction plans score big with city officials, but people who live near this popular Bronx Park are crying foul. CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer has the story. No cricket. No cricket. Concerned Bronx residents are speaking out. It's a great sport, but for cricket, I think they're occupying too much space. Plans call for a 34,000 seat temporary stadium. It would make New York the host of the 2024 Cricket World Cup and at the home of the largest cricket league in New York, Van Cortlandt Park. While the stadium will only be up until June, it will eliminate the use of 20 acres of park for months. We are here to make it crystal clear that there is broad and deep community opposition. Bronx Representative Richie Torres is not only concerned with the legal hurdles that need to be overcome in a short time frame, but with a decision that's hasty. We in the community feel blindsided and even betrayed by the sheer suddenness of the city's decision without the barest attempt at community engagement. The city cannot do whatever it wishes with Parkland. The city must follow the law. It must follow the process that the law prescribes. A spokesperson for the mayor's office pushed back on the opposition, saying in part, holding this tournament in New York City also has the potential to generate $150 million in potential economic activity and create thousands of new jobs. Like I said, mixed feelings. It may be good for the community, 34,000 people. The economy is kind of suffering now, but you know, it may, good, may be good for the small businesses. They're estimating it would stimulate the local economy to the tune of $150 million. So then that's a no-brainer. I'll find somewhere else to work out. The International Cricket Council says they will foot the $20 million construction bill, so there's no need for taxpayer money, just patience. In the Bronx, Steve Overmeyer, CBS2 News.